Hello everyone, my name is Ali. I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco. And today in this video, we're gonna talk about OEAP specifically on C9800 uh, controller. Uh, in my previous video, if you have seen, I talked about the OEAP uh, configuration on AirOS. Uh, this video will be specifically on uh, C9800, which is an iOS XE based controller. So the name Cisco Office Extend Access Point, the uh, Office Extend means that we are seamlessly, seamlessly extending the corporate WLAN over the internet to the employee's residence. So the user experience, you know, he's getting at home is more like exactly the same as he would be getting in corporate office with all the uh, corporate resources available. So communication is encrypted with DTLS and uh, we have an ability to not only broadcast the corporate society, OEAP can also do a local society for you know for its home users, uh, which is which is locally uh, terminated on the router. So from the home network, APs do need to join on a uh, public IP address. So we do need to configure a uh, public IP address on the management interface of the controller. And uh, keep in mind the controller to support this OEAP feature. Uh, all C9800s uh, support. Uh, besides uh, C9800 uh, public cloud version. Having said that, uh, all wave uh, 11 AC wave one access points, 11 AC wave two, and 11 AX access points are supported. So let's start the OEAP configuration, and then later we'll configure the NAT as well. So we have some access points joined to the controller C9800. Uh, we go to wireless setup, advanced settings. Uh, we'll start, and WLAN is already uh, configured. Uh, this is uh, maybe your employee WLAN. You can add if you want another WLAN, but uh, we're going to use the one which is already configured as an employee WLAN. Now, for policy profile, again, you can add or use a default policy profile. I, over here, I'm doing a custom. So, my policy is centrally switched. Uh, here, I'm going to assign it to a different VLAN and apply. Mm -hmm. Now, the VLAN and policy have already been created. Now, I'm going to do a policy tag. You can add a new policy tag and the policy tag basically you have to assign a SSID or a policy profile to it. So we created a new one. We could define the WLAN profile and my policy profile. You can also do an RLAN, but these are uh, APs which don't have Oxford, so I'm not using any RLAN policy here. And then you hit apply. AP joint profile is you know all your ap configurations are part of it so basically i'm trying to create a high availability over here i'm naming the controller and a public ip address of the controller which should be part of uh, this ap joint profile now we're going to apply the settings and go to the flex profile uh, this is the most important one because over here we're going to define the oeap uh, mode so I'm using a custom profile, flex profile, and defining, enabling uh, Office Extend AP mode, and click Apply. Whatever we have policies and profiles we configured so far, we're gonna tie it to a site tag. So we configure a site tag, we name it, and we'll do an AP joint profile, which we already created. Also, we're gonna need to disable this enable a local site to have in flex mode. And we select the one which uh, flex profile which you already created earlier and hit apply. Now for RF uh, profiles and RF tags, we're just using a default RF profile and default RF tag. So I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to apply all these policies which we created to the access points. Uh, we can select the access point on which we want to apply those tags. So we type policy tag and then the site tag which we already created and RF will be the default one. Click apply, the APs will, will reboot and come back to the controller. Now we will enable NAT on C9800 on the wireless, wireless management interface. We're going to enable the NAT status and configure the public IP address and AP discovery to private and public and then click apply so that internal and external APs can join to this controller. Now we can disconnect the access points and give it to the employee and he can take it home and connect to his home router and the APs will jump back to this controller and they will be broadcast in the corporate SID. Thank you for watching.